You know, I, I just made a video, and I'm going to start this video over. And I might attach it to this one right here, but here's something that I just thought about. How do I know? How do I know whether these people that are whining and complaining about ad revenue coming in from YouTube, talking about how their videos are being demonetized and how their videos are no longer playing ads on their videos, how do I know that? Because number one, when you click on a video on YouTube, it doesn't tell you this video is monetized and sponsored by Procter & Gamble, by Tide, by Coca-Cola, by Amazon. It doesn't tell you none of that shit. You just click on it, and if it plays an ad, fine. If it doesn't, they either didn't monetize it or they might, might be one of those victims of the, uh, the, the current drama, which is all these big timers and all these middle timers on YouTube, uh, drama and woe is men about all the ad revenue that they're going to lose. All these millionaires out there are, you know, I'm going to have to shut my channel down. Is this the last video I make? I'm going to, I'm losing my livelihood. What am I going to do? Get a fucking job. That's what you're going to do. You're going to join the workforce just like I had to do. And just like thousands and upon thousands and millions upon millions of people out there had to do whenever their dream uh, crumbled, all right? But anyway, I really, I was thinking about it. I was reviewing my video and getting ready to upload it. And I got to thinking, wait a minute. You know, here's the deal. I don't know if these people actually click on monetize video. They could very well just upload a video or two without the monetization on there, especially the ones where I'm going to have to shut my channel down and you don't see an ad on there, how do I know as a viewer that you didn't choose to monetize that video? And kind of seems to me, and I'm not 100% on this, but I'm just throwing these ideas out there. This seems like it could be a cash grab by a lot of these people. And oh yes, the peoples that you love and adore don't put it past anybody to exploit the system, whatever that system may be. YouTube just happens to be the one we're talking about today. And remember all the other times that we've had drama before about these big time YouTubers might have to shut their channel down. The last one was the internet police, the YouTube police. You know, you have Eugene and, you know, Leroy sitting there. Oh, this is inappropriate. I'm flagging this video. Whatever happened to that? First of all, whatever happened to that crisis? Nothing, because nothing ever came of it. I don't think anybody cares about taking their time and flagging videos because it can always be reversed. Yeah, it's an inconvenience, but nothing ever came of it. Remember the crisis before that with all the big timers? Woe is me, I'm going to have to shut my channel down because of ad block. Please don't ad block my YouTube videos, please. You know, click on the ads, you know, and that was the thing. And then they figured that out, how they were going to, you know, fix that. So, folks, this is just something that gets under my skin a little bit because every time something happens, people are so reactive to it in such a dramatic and extreme fashion that you got to understand these people with these millions of subscribers to their channel there's going to be thousands upon thousands of people out there to just start throwing money at these guys. So they're not going to lose a dime. All right. I've even seen some go so far as to start a patron account. And if you don't know what that is, that's pretty much like a subscription to like a news magazine or something. I don't know. You know, but it's like a subscription on Twitch. If anybody's familiar with subscribing to a partner of Twitch. It's kind of like that. You pay five bucks, they get a chunk, patron gets a chunk. I think it's like a 50-50 split or something like that. Maybe patron's a little bit less than the 50% on what they get versus the person. But you got people doing that. It just seems like to me people are using this as a career opportunity for them to even grab more money 
from the system because like I said, I don't know if you're clicking on monetized video. I don't know this. How do I know? You know, I don't get to see the dashboard. I don't get to see the analytics. You know, where you click on video manager. I don't get to see all that. That's your private little world. That's your little bubble of privacy right there to where you can see all the details of a video, of, of a chunk of videos, of a month of uploads and all that, the yearly things. That's where you see all your pennies starting to flow in from YouTube and Google, the AdSense and all that. So, I mean, that that's just the thing. And, and yet, we will sit here and fall for the okie doke and go, oh, man, this dude... Man, he's gonna he's gonna be out on the streets, man. No, he's not. He, she, them, they. No, they're not. And and I, I'm I'm sorry, but I don't feel sorry for you. Number one, you got to have a backup plan. All right. If you are legitimately being honest with everybody, and this is the biggest crisis of your life, all right, it's gonna be okay. All right. Go find a job or something because there's plenty of them out there. Trust me. I right, don't believe the hype. There's jobs out there. Down here where I'm at, people's begging for good help. From what I understand, there's a lot of industries out there looking for labor. All right? You might actually have to physically do something. I know. It's horrible. But there's, you know, there's a back have a backup plan. All right? You did something before you did YouTube. All right? Do that. Or here's another novel idea. I heard a guy talking about I spend 10 and 12 and 15 hours a day you know, on my computer doing research, and that's all I do. And I don't do any, you know, this is, I, I spend my time on the computer. Well, here's a novel idea. How about live streaming? All right, how about live streaming to an outlet like Twitch? You know, because now they have so many different categories. You know, they have the IRL channel. They have the, uh, the creative channel. They have the cooking channel. They have all these other channels that you have as an alternative. You know, get a gathering there. All right, YouTube is not the be-all, end-all of revenue to be made out there. All right, and besides all of that, these ad peoples, Coca-Cola, Amazon, you know, the vacation resorts, the car companies, the ones that have pulled their ads out, those are the people that you need to boycott. And first of all, you know, you need to boycott the person who started this mess in the first place. It's, you know, I get it. I understand why it happened. You know, I see where he said, you know, hey, you're going to let your ads be on this racist video and all this. And then, old man, everybody freaks out and says, oh, psh, pull it. We're not going to be affiliated with that. But here's the deal. If Amazon is one of them that did that, they need to really step back and have a look at Twitch because you see a lot of racist bullshit going on on that, on that site. And that's live, baby. That ain't no upload. That's live. And in your face right there. So, you know, it's just kind of like... You look at it, it's like, you know, that, that that's just, that just, it's funny to me because you see a person that owns a company, Amazon and uh, Twitch or affiliates. I don't know who owns, you know, who in that particular scenario, but it's just kind of funny to me that they would be one of them. But, you know, I, I, under get, I get it, okay? I get it. You know, to you right now, it's the latest crisis of the world. All right, never mind what's going on overseas. Never mind what just happened tonight with Tomahawk missiles and all that. Let's worry about uh, Putin Pies, or whatever his name is, losing $10,000 of ad revenue this month, and he might not quite be a millionaire next week. Oh, my God, I got to feel sorry for that guy. Or, you know, there's other people's that, you know, they, 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 let me give you an example of how you don't get in this situation. There is a guy, I think, you know, I'm not going to say his name. But I know a guy who started off doing YouTube videos. Then he started live streaming on Twitch. He got a partnership with Twitch after a lot of hard work and people that he knew. You know, because once again, in life, it's not what you know, it's who you know. All right, so he got a partnership with Twitch. And then he looked at the terms of service says, okay, well, I'm doing this. I can get a little extra scratch if I start a patron account. So he started a patron account. That started doing good, so he started doing merchandising. Then he got sponsorships from companies to put little little ad tags and little name brands, you know, on his videos and all that around the edges and what have you. And started he started getting pennies that way. And then some of these companies said, hey, you want to go to conventions? We'll fly to these conventions. We'll pay you for it. And so now he's got all this stuff going on. And he live streams, but it's not like 100% of the time. And he gets a lot of time off on these places that he goes to conventions, getting paid, room, board, 
and then going out to do you know community stuff like you know gaming community stuff at conventions what a life that is and it's because he had a backup to the backup to the backup to the backup you gotta have a backup plan folks you can't just say i'm gonna sit in front of this camera and make youtube videos and that's all i'm gonna do this is all i i, I depend on this i can't believe if these people are smart enough to get big on youtube that that is the case and once again, going all the way back to the beginning of this video, how do I know that you're being 100% honest with us and clicking that monetize button? Because you can very well turn that monetize off anytime you feel like it and then tell me to my face, lie to me, you know, look me straight in the eyes and say, my monetization dropped off all these videos and I'm not getting paid for them. I don't know if, if it's legit. I'm taking your word for it. I'm taking the word of a person I don't know for it. You get, you feel me? I just don't, I don't get it. But I, I just, I had to redo this video, and I know that I probably missed a lot of things that I was going to go over, but that's the biggest basis of it. Folks, it's just the latest little bit of, of, of uh, I, I don't even have the right word I want to say right now. Drama. That's all it is. It's the latest drama of YouTube. Please. Please don't let it interfere with your personal life. You know, instead of being reactive, be proactive. Instead of letting it get you down, adapt. That's what you got to do. And people ask me all the time, you know, Craft Just, how do you, you know, how do you stay the way you are? You always seem like you're happy and this, that, and the other. All that shit that's happened to you is called adaptability, all right, and knowing how to survive. That's the two things. Plus, that series is coming up soon. All right, so I don't want to spoil anything. I'm working on that series right now, as a matter of fact. And if all these other people aren't getting the views and revenue, bring it to me. It's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun. And I hope I didn't upset anybody. But you know what? That's your own damn fault for not having a backup plan. Woo! Woo!